In this video, we're going to make a model of our BJT with capacitors in it by identifying the parasitic capacitances that are hiding inside of our BJTs. I've pulled out our cross-section of the base of a BJT on the left of this slide, and we can immediately identify two junction capacitors at the base emitter junction and the base collector junction. We'll call these CJE and CJC, and they're here and here. CJE is usually forward biased. Um, when we're in forward active region, so it's pretty big. While CJC is usually reverse biased in the forward active region, uh, so it's usually pretty small. However, CJC is often in a feedback position in amplifiers because it connects the collector and the base, and we'll see that that's quite influential in future videos. Charge hides in one other place in a BJT, which results in additional base to emitter capacitance we call CB for base transit capacitance. The trick to identifying the capacitance is to recall that BJTs work by injecting a lot of charge at the left side of the base, um, and resulting in the difference in uh, minority charge carrier concentration to cause diffusion across the base. So that means uh, while these charges are diffusing though, they're stored in the base. This area under this curve represents a lot of charge that's inside of the base. So when we raise VBE to inject more electrons, this results in more total charge, a larger area, uh, stored in the base. Here the dotted line is the concentration gradient with a higher VBE, and the area between the dotted line and the original line is the additional charge that we had to shoot into the base to achieve that gradient. This is a change in total charge with voltage, so it's a capacitance. And because all the extra charge gets injected from the emitter, the capacitance has to be connected between the base and the emitter. This capacitance can seem a little bit cryptic, but here's one analogy that students like. Imagine the collector to emitter current like a river of charge, and the base is like some little chunk of the river that we're looking at. If we raise the water level of the river to increase the flow rate, then we're storing more water in the little section of the base we're looking at. That's kind of similar to what's going on here. One natural question is, how big is this uh, base charging cap, or base transit cap, anyway? We can calculate that using our differential small signal relations. First, we note that we've decided that IC is equal to GM times VBE. Second, we note uh, if the base transit time is linear, which it more or less is in a small signal model, then the current in the base can be calculated as the total charge in the base QB divided by the transit time tau f. You can get that equation by imagining all the charge in the base at one side and then asking how long it takes to get to the other side, which is a super coarse approximation, but it's okay with small signals. Rearranging slightly, a uh, small signal charge divided by a small signal voltage uh, is like dQdV, so we call it CB and note that it's equal to Gm times tau f, the base transit time. We can put this together into a dynamic model for the BJT. We had two caps to the model that we had before. C pi from the base to the emitter, and C mu from the base to the collector. C pi is equal to CB plus CJE, C mu is just equal to CJC. This model is called the full hybrid pi model of the BJT, um, I guess because this bridge across the top kind of makes it look like the Greek letter pi. So in summary, BJTs have two junction capacitances and an additional capacitance that's formed by charge stored in the base. Um, CJE is forward biased, so the base to emitter capacitor junction cap is large. CJC is reverse biased, so the base to collector junction cap is small. Um, and base charge is charge in transit across the base. Um, an increasing current means that we have more base charge, more total charge in transit. Um, because we're injecting more electrons at the source. Uh, putting that all together, we wind up with this dynamic small signal model for our BJT.